Moving the light, Colby. Okay, if you get on track, bit. <laughs> and that's important. <laughs> yeah. Get it, get on, Robbie. <laughs> this is the weirdest Get him off, <laughs> <laughs> Bang! <laughs> you alright? <laughs> Look at this that motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just... I mean, you should hold it. I'm not gonna tell you how to be T unit. You should shoot sideways. Oh, you're that right. That was a little, a little too white. I need you to. Okay. <laughs> Caught it with my teeth, and I spit it right back out. Stool scenes, 14. Wow. Wow. What a week. What a week. We're just gonna get right into it. I love it. Gay Pat. We hired a gay blogger. Or did we? So you're saying he's not gay? I'm saying he, he may not be full time. Oh, so he's not hired? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> We're back. Hey. Gay Pat is in the What's building up, with his shirt Super tied guy. up. <laughs> trying to look as flamboyant as can be. Super guy. He made his that, debut. I heard uh, that daddy likes flamboyant guys, so yes. that's what I'm trying to give him. I told him that you, to be, that you were disappointed that he was that you were not flamboyant enough. I, no, I just asked if you were flamboyant. Right. Um, was there a tinge of disappointment when I told you he wasn't? No, no, I, I want it to be real. Yeah, no, I mean, he's as real as it gets. Pat, it, you're, you think you're full-time, okay, Pat? Is this true? I, I guess I, I don't not know what it I was... said. Well, I know you you emailed me and we're like, I want to I want to talk to I want to give notice to my job and I like yeah. talk to Dave first. Right. Yeah, that seemed like a really aggressive step, Gay Pat. Is it not? Well, I I'm getting mixed signals from who? From everyone that I was talking. To. They're like, oh, who's yeah, everyone? Was, I talk with KFC. I talk with Fights. They were both like, all right, you know, you start as full time. Ah, you know, where the emails? No, no, no. They didn't say start as full time. They're like, you know, well, you just start... said start as full time. You just said that, Gay Pat. Okay, well, I take it back. Okay. So they... who told you you were full time? Because no I one's, definitely no have been one specifically very clear it's part time to start. No one specifically told me full time, but no one told me it was part time either. I know they explicitly say we're gonna start part time. I know they say that. I didn't even that. know I was talking to you. It was just an the anonymous yeah, that email. Is true. He did say to me, "I'm just emailing the tips email, and I don't know who I'm Oops. actually talking to." Well, I guess the, you wanted me to start part-time because you think there aren't enough gay stories to warrant a full-time gig. That could be true, correct. However, I was spacing them out, sending like one gay story So you just per... thought you were gonna force your way into a full-time job well, no, before I was... like, we're like, you're ready for full-time? No, I thought It's not that... a bad idea, by the way. You could probably run with that and yes. work around yes, here. Yes, actually, that is. <laughs> All right, this is, this is me to him. Hey, man, so here's the deal. I love your gay-related blogs. I think they're very unique and well-written. The non-gay blogs, not so much. Would you be interested in joining part-time to start and focusing on this subject? Hopefully the role expands, but that's how I feel at this point. I just don't know that there are enough gay stories to warrant a full-time gig yet. Well, let me... How, that can't be more explicit that we got a part-time gig here. Let me address... And then I come in here, and it's like, okay, Pat is like, even though he's a full-time guy, it's like, wait, what? What does part-time mean? It means you send blogs in on gay stories, but you're like kind of a freelance guy. So I come, what do I, I come in, I just send them in, like what do I do? No, you don't come in, we don't have any part-time. Yeah, they gave, you, well, they gave me a key card, so that's confusing. Who the fuck gave you a key card? Brett. Brett. <laughs> <laughs> but that, 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 me in here. Wait, that actually... Uh, you gave Gay Pat a key card? Yeah, I did. Why? I thought he was like part of the, the team now. No, he's a part-time guy. 
Okay. More important. Why? Uh, what would be the rationale behind needing to open up every Sour Patch Kid you want to eat? Uh, it's crazy. That's a great question. I didn't order these. This was. Okay. I delegated the food responsibility. To okay. who? What are you <laughs> doing <laughs> that you don't have time to do food? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was about to fucking do a little uh, snap story of I can show you the world because it's beautiful right now. It really looks fucking sexy right now. It's a nice spread. I doubt it's going to stay like that for that long, but I mean, we could take you through it. These. We're here last week, the sea salt garden veggie chips didn't get touched for whatever reason. No one wants to eat the sea salt. But right here, a bunch of chips. The pretzels are going to go fast. Grandma's cookies, they're soft baked. I like a soft cookie. I didn't know these are soft, so I'm going to maybe dip into these later. Individually wrapped Sour Patch Kids, questionable. More spent on the wrapping probably than the fucking... But they're like a little bigger than your normal Sour Patch Kid. Beautiful. Something, you know, some nuts, a little protein if you want to get your fiber in. And then the Haribo, the Golden Bears. It's a good spread. Was the spread in Hollywood better? <laughs> I'm trying no. to like get behind they the fascination. I don't understand it. it. Yeah. Oh, 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 you want to battle? See, that's mine. I was like, yeah, I was like, let's see who can do it longer. Who can right. do it longer? Ready? I, I can't really spin mine correctly. All right. All right. Can we get a real spin? Okay, Marco. Oh, he's slowing. Oh, he's he's slowing. slowing. He's slowing. He's slowing big time. Come on, Keith. Push. Push. <laughs> Dig deep. Dig deep. Oh no. Oh man. Keith, that laugh just ruined. I know. Oh you know. no. Stay stationary. Oh no. Go! This is Go! down to the no. wire. Go! Oh my god. Go! Oh, oh no. Well, stop at the exact same time. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> He's still going! Yeah! Oh! He's still going! Uh -oh. Yeah! <laughs> Just see this guy walking in, not really sure who he was. What a moment. Lenny Dykstra bursts into the office, uh, invited, or was he? Huh. That's a crazy thing. Real? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll mention it. <laughs> Real. Real. An interesting woman date with nails. What? An interesting woman date with nails. Yeah. Right next to Yeah. Lenny, I was thinking uh, if you want to give the part of my tape guys a gift, we have uh, this. Yeah, yeah you should sure give like, that to him. You might as well give it to him, you know, give yeah, him what for. Show them what a real dick looks like, you know? And feels like. That's not even half the strawberries fucking cold. It was traumatizing. Where, where are you staying? Do you need us to get you an Uber to your hotel? No, no, no. Uh, we have we have to we're interviewing so, so, someone so, else so, so in, in so, 20 minutes. So real quick. Yeah. So that was someone else fucking. Yeah, that was someone fucking with you. That wasn't Dave. It was DMing you. Really? It was a fake person. Yeah, he only has so like 15 followers. Oh, nice. This is Love it. If you only know. <laughs> Rhea. Thanks, Lionel. I only Keep. knew. Okay, thank you. I said white people can't tell. Quite a line. Now you See, I thought God put me on the earth to entertain people on the baseball field. Yep. So that's pretty good at it. That wasn't his calling. You know what mm -hmm. He had a higher calling to get women on. That's what I do. Fuck yeah. Love that. Love it. Oh, nice to do it. Yeah, around here. All right, look at that. You get a lot of money now, man. You have the best of yeah. cap. A lot of money. <laughs> it's not a monster. It's not a problem. It's not a monster, but, but it's, it's big enough. It's perfect, though. I had a Jewish doctor do my circumcision. 
Go my mom, mom when you just sent a perfect pet. Love it. So the chicks are like, what the fuck? Can I send it out or just mom? Just but it's that. not mom. It's just, yeah, just, like it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. All right, yeah, they got it. They need you. No teeth? Wasn't the worst week for the Bandera butthole? Text? A sentence that's never been said before. Yeah, he's but. starting to catch some W's in his life. Look at that. Good for you, Tex. Yeah. What's popping? Dude, that was the wildest conversation I've ever had. That's the first time you've been. I told him it's for my mom. He was like, "All right, I'll sign it right on my crotch." <laughs> Who's more concussed, Tex or Lenny Dykstra? I honestly, you—the only person who reminds me of Lenny Dykstra is you. Only person who reminds me of Fat Albert is you. <laughs> <laughs> Said that that wasn't the viceroys. <laughs> the viceroys. Man. They're not listening to you. <laughs> College ending. <laughs> What's gonna happen in the summer? Is there summer school? <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 oh! That was a flinch. <laughs> I mean, I flinched. <laughs> Two for oh, I thought you had a heart attack. Oh my god. And he's you got to trust me. Yeah, big cat don't like a big dog now. They don't. They never do. Big cat don't like a big dog. <laughs> you want that fucking? You kiss so it? He almost did. Yo, don't. I was kiss gonna him, headbutt bro. him. That's fucking mad, Tex. Tex. Oh, you didn't break it. You didn't break it. <laughs> It's like fucking great school again. <laughs> oh, oh you break I it. broke that. You didn't break it. You I broke that. You didn't break it. This is a gun. You punched me in the face, motherfucker. Quite the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need like more sticky on it. I know how to get this. Just give it a lick. Yeah, you need, <laughs> you need something sticky on the back. I can't figure yeah, out. You gotta, you gotta spit on it a little bit. <laughs> a little spit shine. Chocolate bird. Oh! Why is that the boss? Big Marco? So, yeah, here at Barcel. Time is a flat circle sometimes. We have Devlin, former intern slave. Turn first intern, blackout tour MC, back as an intern. And I, I heard Dave didn't even know that he was hired, like because Coley hired him, and he also uh, surprisingly has some some nice talents, some some uh, hidden gem talents, some voices in his head, some may say. Seems mentally stable though. Seems like a a, a great guy, and I would I would say that whether he were here or not. Yeah, honestly, so glad to have him back. Huge fan. Sometimes you have to be the bad dairy bottle. And sometimes you need to be a kind of creepy guy. Most girls don't really like when you do creepy bad things, but this one here, she likes it. <laughs> I love the joke. Was that too much? No. Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> Me and Gaz will be driving for a long time. Now that we have a gay blogger, I can finally be the Goker. This is basically the Joker doing gay things, and for some reason, having the Joker say gay stuff was like very entertaining. It's like, you know when you have a guy and you, know, you got a crush on him and you just want to have a, where's that dick? Dildo. Anyway, when he got his balls draping on your chin and he shoves it down your throat until your stomach is just overflowing. And then, you spit it back out in his face. So like, stuff like that. Yeah, weird. <laughs> really weird. Those long 12 hour drives, and that's what we listened to for 12 hours. Incredulous, Fido Bird, denim, ridiculous. What were you thinking wearing that jacket, my man? 1983 call, they want everything back, including you. Clones, got this guy Dave Portnoy on my show today. Who is this guy? Anyway, for the 50,000 of you watching in Buffalo area, <laughs> thank you. Next up, Cousin Sal. Um, yeah, sorry, that's uh, my show. You gotta get out of here. I'm just, uh, you know what's so weird, guys? It remi you know, being in this office reminds me of uh, 1973, you know, Larry Bird 
He's at the free throw, and my dad is there, and Larry Bird misses the free throw, you know? And he goes one out of two in the line, and it's exactly like Cutterberg wearing this denim jacket, because it was just like, what was that guy doing? And that's what's so weird, because it's an exact pop culture reference that makes sense. And I've been, and, and why don't, why don't El Prezes buy their own fucking offices, you know? So. Bill Simmons, I forgot Bill Simmons. That's what's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to take over the sports media complex by just being um, everybody. Now, now do and Michael that, Kane. Now do Michael Kane. So and that was the last gun in the bullet. Can we fucking give this guy some Axe body spray? Why does he smell so bad? It really does smell bad. It's fucking terrible. Has, is no one noticing? Oh, what the fuck is it? I can't go past it. It smells like someone's fucking grandma's house. It smells like a musty old fucking basement. It's gross. Get this shit frog out of here. We're actually so good for Nothing makes me happier than Paul Walls. Nothing makes me happier. You feel that? I don't know. This isn't really my jam. So young, so dumb. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go back and listen to it for myself. So Nate nuggied me earlier in this week. Oh, what? Nate, he just like Is that came nugget? by and I mean, I, I brought it up to Nate. I was like, yo, you know you nuggied me earlier this week. He's like, yeah, that's what I do when I'm pounding around. The Nogi Man. He is a Nogi true Nogi Man. So that was not an, it wasn't one isolated incident. Incident. He's a serial nogi Yeah, he watched his face too. I mean, that was a premeditated Nogi. I let it. I, I I took it as a, I didn't take it as being as being sun really. But is it, when it happened to Dave, <laughs> the Nogi heard around the world. Many are saying, "Wow." Where as much of the action on the shadowy forest floor goes unseen. Up in the trees, the jungle's miraculous movement is a thing to behold. The long-limbed spider monkey is perfectly suited for a life in the trees. I think I think Dave gets it wasn't a malicious nookie. I think he knew. Is there any other times? No, it was a, it was a friendly. It was not a malicious nookie. Yeah, that was like, like, listen, Ryan, listen. Like, yeah, no, it was like me and you were talking. Nookie is the, nookie is the most disrespectful thing in the world. Dave, would you like to look at my hair too? I just I just told you to do it again, but now I'm saying do not do it again. I actually go. No, I know he's mad. I can tell he's mad. Nookie me where I had surgery like two weeks. ago. 
I would never purposely hurt you with a Noki. My Nokis are at a lot, and you know that. Yeah, no, Noki guy to Noki guy. No, you know. You are a Noki guy. When did I say that? You can do Look at that face. You're a Noki guy. I don't know what the fuck that is. You're You can just give up the vibe that you can just get out of You're a Noki guy. He's getting real mad. Right now. He's getting real mad now. Yeah, now I'm seeing how big it is. And then how hard this would be for you to get out of it. I don't want you to get fired. Just walk up the set. Seriously, walk away. I think we're good. I don't <laughs> think you are. But we're, not. Not. We're, good. we're far from it. Far from it. <laughs> you might not ever. We're far from it. We're good. Oh, 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 oh. You are a good guy now. Whether you, you were, whether you were, whether you were, trying were, to like make me the noogie guy. You're the resident. <laughs> whether you were the noogie guy before is irrelevant. You are the noogie guy now. Oh, yeah. guy did. Uh, uh, there it is. Uh, there it is, man. What? Uh, 365 starting today. We start every day you walk in with me, no game. Oh, no, no, you're such a lasher. If man. I don't win, you're fired. Oh, oh, Davey lash out. If we don't, oh, if we don't start. It's okay. What, what about if he's like sick? Oh, Dave. Gotta get him to give Dave, that's, that's okay. It's your choice. You don't have to do it. But if you don't do it, you're out. Wait, so. <laughs> I mean, I don't. <laughs> It's just like kind of sad, like that you're sad, last. Sad, sad. You can't it's take fun. one little nookie. I can. You're gonna get three sixty-five. But you can't you take one little nookie. Five for one. That's so you want sad. Start now? That's so you sad. You can, start you're a nookie guy. Of course you're gonna nookie right, me. That's what nookie guys do. You <laughs> you're such a nookie guy. Nookie guy, Dave. Give me that nookie. Think, think nookie Nate's regretting it right now. Oh, oh yeah, he looks shook right now. Yeah, no, he's regretting it. There's no doubt about it. He was probably regretting the second it happened. I mean, honestly, if they make that huge deal of it, he may have gotten away with it. But once it became a thing, then it's like you got to put Nate back in the birdcage theoretically. So yeah. But I mean, now he's gonna get noogie for a year straight. So and I'm gonna come up with some pretty creative ways to noogie his ass. Nate helped me out big time. Uh, Thank Ah, that's hard. Let me know if it hurts. I can lose it. I did rockets. Right. I gotta put like sunscreen down the roads, right? If I no. go outside. No, you're so stupid. No, you gotta put grease. You gotta grease it. Okay. Where do, yeah. I, where do I buy here grease? I bring you some hand grease. Okay. I'm not appropriating anyone's culture. <laughs> I'm getting cornrows um, to show respect for farmers. And for me. Yeah. And for Ebony. Are you a farmer, Ebony? I ain't no fucking farm, I'm black. Oh, okay, I didn't know He's supporting meant. me, you know, like he- I'm supporting Ebony and also farmers that work hard in, in Iowa. You're damn right. Love Ethanol, that. E85, check it out, it's great fuel. How's it look? So far. Yeah, thanks, I'm thinking about, now Coley gave me this idea, after we get the fourth corn row in, <laughs> I take the long hairs on the side, maybe I bun those like over the top of the corn rows. You look like a fellow from Whoville and like the, Gr the Grinch. Okay. Yeah. I had enough hair that I got corn rows as well in high school. I need there's no pic picture. There's literally no picture. Anything in my life. There's literally no picture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thoughts? I mean, I wish it was his whole head. I think this is a new new franchise. Corner right? boys. This is for farmers. Respecting farmers. Corn. I think it looks pretty good. Thanks, man. Pretty good brand, huh? What's up? I just created my own hairstyle. It's called uh, the Fuck Boy. Big week. A lot, of, a lot of just big oversized children in here. Yeah. Big week for toys. Big week for toys, yeah. Fidget spinners. Oh, yeah. Uh, giant black dicks. Giant black dicks, yes. Classic, yeah. They're just dildos flopping around the office. It was. It reminded me of preschool. Yeah, it's pretty standard, so yeah. it's fun. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? You just threw a tin, tin of me. Missed. He missed. He's the worst athlete ever, but... That's like my one talent. I can fart on a cue. Do it right now. Do it right now. Ah! <laughs> what a talent! <laughs> you didn't oh, fart man. just now. That's it. I got a mic to. I can't believe you're not a star, Tex. <laughs> <laughs> one word. I can't 
started right now. Way back when, when Mike Connolly broke his face, he had to wear a mask. I also have to wear a mask. <laughs> and now I'm jacked. <sighs> okay, so YP, you see this? Mike Connolly sign in the wall. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut this piece of his signature out and write ourselves a check. So, <laughs> thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Well, you know, I, made, I got a different signature. For that. <laughs> it's too late. All right. How do you feel about people calling you Gaucho Marx? <laughs> Is that a play on words? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me just say it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is so creepy. What did you say? He said, put, put your mouth on that, I'll pass out. It's 20 What? So you joke. I can say stuff like that to you, but you're not around. Rolling by Limp Biscuit. Yeah, he could. Hmm? What's up? <laughs> What's Hello. Up? What's up? <laughs> don't, don't put that dildo on my face. Don't worry. Trent, what? <laughs> Trent, if you put your mouth on that, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was, that was pretty slick. Because we can be like, hey, keep in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's I didn't expect it to be so red. <laughs> I thought it would flop out of your hands. <laughs> How's Bob doing? He's doing great. Otherwise known as Lush Sydney. Ooh, what's that? Lush. What is that? But you got Gary Coleman's forearm in between your foot. <laughs> Yo, check out PFT's cornrows. Why don't you get a closer look? Great, man. Get closer so you can see them. You said. Bob. They said when your replacement comes in, you better have a big swinging dick so he knows who's boss. This is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. This is not a good look. Oh. That's all we needed, probably. <laughs> I'm going for like the stool seats thumbnail. That's nice. He's, Frankie knows content. Make sure to document all the sexual harassment that goes on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's all we needed. I think that's it. I think we're good. You yeah, asked nice. Dude, that's this is a great time. Life changing stuff. That was a great. Really life changing. That was the best. That's the best I've ever had. Live from New York, it's still scenes. <laughs>